Hold up. Your car may just be a ticking time bomb ready to ignite, potentially sending your humble abode up in flames too. And who do we have to blame for this startling predicament? Welcome to Hear the Web. Today's news comes from the high-octane world of automobile recalls, where Hyundai and Kia are recalling 3.4 million vehicles in the U.S. due to fire risks. While you'd usually leave your car parked in your driveway or garage, they are instructing owners of specific models to park outdoors instead. Stay with us to find out if your car is part of the recall. No need to fret. Hyundai and Kia are taking full responsibility for the situation. An anti-lock brake control module in the vehicles, it seems, can leak fluid and cause an unexpected electrical short, sparking a fire. And these aren't isolated incidents. These issues can happen whether your vehicle is being driven or simply parked. The scope of this recall is huge, spanning multiple car and SUV models manufactured between the years of 2010 and 2019. Famous models include Hyundai's Santa Fe SUV and Kia's Sorento SUV. That's nearly a decade's worth of cars in the recall radius. Looking at the gravity of the situation until the repairs are done, owners are advised to park their vehicles outdoors and away from structures to minimize any potential harm. So how do they plan on fixing the problem? Turns out the remedy suggested is rather simple. Dealers will replace the anti-lock brake fuse at no cost to owners. All you need to do is wait for that notification letter in your mail. However, Michael Brooks, the executive director of the Nonprofit Center for Auto Safety, questioned Hyundai and Kaya's approach, challenging why they aren't actually fixing the leak problem and why they are waiting so long to alert the affected vehicle owners. Yes, the leak problem does seem like the root cause of it all, since brake fluid can still leak and potentially cause more safety problems. It's understandable that people are questioning the efficacy of their proposed solution. And interestingly, both companies have made no comment on why they aren't addressing the fluid leak problem directly. The concerns have been noted, and both companies have said they will look into the questions raised. So, while we're waiting for a concrete solution, doubting whether the fix suggested will be enough, it's safe to say that for now, parking Y away from any structures might be the best precaution we can take. And to know whether your car might potentially turn into a fire-breathing dragon. Kia models include the 2010 through 2019 Borrego, Cadenza, Forte, Sportage, Optima, Rondo, Soul. And Hyundai covers 2011 to 2015 Elantra, Genesis Coupe, Sonata Hybrid, Accent, Azera, Veloster, Santa Fe, Equus, Tucson, and more. You can check the full model list and all recall details at www.nhtsa.gov slash recalls. What makes this even more alarming is that Hyundai and Kia have a bit of a history with fire issues. The two automakers have recalled more than 9.2 million vehicles for fires and engine problems since 2015, not including the recalls announced recently. We can only hope the automakers take this serious issue into account and look into ways of ensuring such problems won't resurface in the future. But for now, take precaution and watch out for that notification letter in your mailbox. Thanks for joining us on Hear the Web. Stay updated, stay safe, and remember, open skies are currently the safest garage.